Hey, Brian, considering you guys were third in defense and you may only have one new starter and all the changes you made on offense, should this be the best team you've played on? We hope so, you know, but um, it really only matters what we do on the field and got to continue to build from that, um, take things we did right, take things we did wrong, try to learn from it, um, and really just try to continue the momentum into this year and get after it. You know, I mean, what's on paper really doesn't matter. We got we to gotta put it forth and uh, put it forward and see what we can do with it. Last year, you wanted to pick up where you finished on defense the year before and you weren't able to do it. What do you got to do to pick up where you left off last season? Did you learn any lessons about the start of last season? Yeah, I think so. I think we obviously didn't play uh, how we want to at the start of the year. So continue to build upon, like I said, what we did right, change what we did wrong, um, just you know, continue with the process of getting better and uh, you know, change what we did at the beginning of last year and uh, continue to build upon it. With all that you've seen and done over your career, do you think you can help with recognition of any of those things and maybe moving more quickly towards solutions? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And I think we've talked about it a, a good amount. And uh, you know, trying to start off hot from the beginning. You know, and I think if we do that, we can help this team greatly. You had a productive season and have had many over the years here. Do you see, even at your age, with what you've been through, that better football can still be ahead no of you? Question. No question. No um, question. There's a lot of ball left for me. Um, both, you know, physically, mentally, and um, you get to this part of your career. Um, you only get better, you get worse. And uh, I'm just trying to get better every day. Last year, kind of piggybacking that, you said you were 100% for the first time you felt in a couple of years. But this year, it seems like you're even moving better than last year. Did you change something in your training regimen? Do you feel even better than last year? Or wh where are you at right I now? I think I've trained harder in the off season, But at the same time, the further I get away from my injuries, the better I'm going to get. And, um, I'm going to continue to heal and, and get back to where I was and, you know, not worrying about rehab or injuries or trying to figure out what's wrong with my body. But instead, training like I was able to, training like I'm used to, and um, continue to build momentum and, um, you know, get to where I need to be again. And, and if I can, I think I can help this, this team greatly. Uh, Coach alluded to your training changing over time from when you first came in the league until now. Yeah. In, in what ways has it changed, and in what ways do you do uh, work on things to preserve your body yeah. for the season? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing extra every single day. You know, there's really no days off for me, and I think that's just for anyone at 29 years old and eighth year in the league, and especially as a middle linebacker, you have to work at it every single day. Like I said, you're either getting better or getting worse, and I'm trying to get better every day. And um, I think if you can classify my training now as opposed to my rookie or second or third year in the league, it's a lot more athletic now, athletic training. And I'm running a great deal more and, and know that I, it's, it's hard to stay in shape. It's hard to get better at this age. But if I continue to work out every day, I will. Keeping Vrabel here, keeping continuity with the coaching staff, keeping continuity with a lot of the personnel you're going to be playing alongside mm -hmm. over this offseason, have you seen some value in the continuity? Yeah, absolutely. I think just the familiarity of, of having everyone together in a similar system and being able to build upon that only helps. And, um, you know, this, there hasn't been really any change in the past couple of years, and it, it's helped the guys. And like I said, everyone's more familiar with each other and the system, and, um, you know, it's, 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 it's easier going into every year. Were you excited when you heard Verbal was staying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, him and I can butt heads sometimes, but uh, I wouldn't want anyone else in, in that room leading us and uh, being our coach. So, um, you know, he's a great coach to play for. I mean, he's extremely smart, tough, he's got grit, and just rubs off on us. And, uh, you know, I think we all, I know we all appreciate him in that room. Last year, a lot of the people with hard knocks got to, in the national media and fans got to see your personality, how you rib on some of your teammates. Yeah. With all JJ's doing, the CMT awards, any of that, at, do you give them a little bit of a hard time? Sure. <laughs> sure? Sure. Uh, yeah, anything absolutely. you want to share? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, he knows it. We know it. You know, I mean, we, we like giving him a hard time, but it's, it's, it's all well-deserved credit and, and fame for him. So, I mean, uh, but if there's something a little out of line and we feel like maybe that's not 100% him, we'll let him know about it or have a group text and maybe share with each other, inclu including him. So, uh, yeah, you know, you know, with the, with the fame comes a little bit of a hard times too, but he'll get over it, and I think he's doing all right. <laughs> How many, have you ever used any of this GPS um, tracking stuff in your own personal? Um, yes and no. I mean, I've, I've 
track my heart rate while I've been training and trying not to exceed a certain level in certain times of the year and just be real conscious about, you know, where I am and, and my recovery and, and all those kind of things. But, you know, as technology advances, I, I only see it helping us more and more and more and more teams using it. So, um, you know, I think it's only going to benefit us. The sports science guy, because when you came into the league, you were more advanced in, like, training than most players yes. on what you ate, trained and all that. Now that you've got him, uh, can he actually help you? Or is it is that mainly for others? No, I think I think so. I mean, I, we've talked a great deal, and you know, sports science covers a, a variety of different things, um, from training to sleep to food to recovery. So I mean, it's it, it's incorporating everything together. So <clears throat> you know, any little bit of knowledge that we can talk about or he can share with me only helps myself and other teammates. So you know, you can never learn enough, and um, especially when it comes to to football human body and, and, and just the recovery process because we know it's it's a race to be as healthy as you possibly can to the next Sunday again, sometimes Thursday. So, <clears throat> you know, anything we can do and, and help each other and uh, bounce back as quickly as possible is, uh, is only going to help this team more. Brian, do you do you use the things that D'Amico taught you, you know, when you were young, he was yeah. kind of the vet? Yeah. Do you use some of those same tactics yeah. on uh, Bernard? Yeah, yeah. He was a, he's a special guy and uh, he taught me a lot. Um, just a very wise veteran and um, just about the way he approached the game. And, you know, I think the number one thing with him is he never got it, – it the game was never too big for him. You know, he could handle any moment. Um, and I kind of admire that from a young age was, you know, even, you know, the heat of the battle and things would be crazy. He had the same exact look and same exact expression on his face. So I try to continue that and uh, pass that along to the younger players and, you know, always keep my cool. You feel like you and Bernardrick are getting it. You know, y'all are yeah. going year two. Yeah, it's a similar bond. It's a similar bond that we're starting to form. And um, it's fun playing with him. I like watching him develop. And like I said, you know, anything I can help with him, no, I'm obviously going to. Brian, when you look at your situation and the injuries, you said getting further away from right. that injuries helped you. When you see guys like, let's say, Clowney, for example, I know he's mm -hmm. sick today, but, you know, be, getting now further away from the injury, what advice have you given him as far as, you know, staying up there and improving and being able to build on all that? Um, you know, we've talked a lot over two, three years he's been here, and, um, you know, it's just the small things about, you know, I think the number one thing about being injured is, is to stop feeling bad for yourself, you know. And once you get that mindset and once you get, you know, all the pity out of your head about you and, you know, knowing that, you know, every day that goes by is another day closer to being back out there with your teammates, being out there playing the game that you love, um, I think changing your mindset and changing the way you view things is the most important thing for him. Um, I think he's done a great job so far, and I think he's, he's only um, going upward towards you know, being the player I think he wants to be and that we all expect him to be.